So yes, we are back here in Leicester Square for the European premiere of X-Men Days of Future Past and I'm joined now by Sir Patrick Stewart. Thank you very much indeed for being here on London Live. Um, what was it like to play your character in the film? <laughs> well, I've been playing him for, I think, 13 years now. So it was not a new experience. But uh, in, in this film, he has had to change his philosophy. No longer a negotiator, a diplomat, but a fighter. We're just waiting to speak to Michael Fassbender now, who is uh, busy talking to uh, uh, many of the people, fans, the media, loads of people right now. But uh, I think what we can do, uh, until we get Michael, uh, who's right, he's coming over right now. Michael, nice to meet you. Gavin, London Live. How are you doing, how are you man? Good. Yeah, I'm sorry about the weather today. What's it like it's being right. back in London? Uh, it's great. It's, uh, you know, it, I, I, I've lived here for 18 years, so yeah. it's home away from home. So the film um, mixes and matches different characters going back to meet their sort of yeah. old selves. If you were to go back in time and, and give your old self a bit of advice, what would it be? Uh, cheer up, it's going to get better. Especially with this weather, eh? <laughs> You know, yourself, James McAvoy and um, uh, Hugh Jackman have been named sort of like three of the world's sexiest men. How does that make you feel? Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> London's been voted as um, the popular, most popular tourist destination. When you're here, what sort of things do you like to get up to? I don't get to get out a lot, unfortunately. My, my kids like to get out a lot, so they like to, they actually like sightseeing. And the, and what like Big Ben, yeah. you know, London Eye, all that kind of stuff. Cool, and what was it like with your, your daughter in the film as well? It was lovely. It was lovely. She was, <laughs> it was fun. JR, I saw you work in the crowd earlier. What's it like being here at KP? I don't think I was really working in the crowd. You were. KP? Who calls it KP? I what's, do now. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Who do you think you are, a two-pack? Well, you know, I'm a bit of a lyricist myself. Down with it. <laughs> Down with KP. Down with KP. What do you think of this film, Maleficent, then? Um, it's exciting, isn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing it. I haven't seen it yet. I thought, too, honestly, I've got to be honest, I thought we were seeing the movie tonight. I've turned up now, found out we're just looking at some dresses. Yeah, that's Not it. my idea of a great night out. But anyway, we're here now. Let's make the most of it. Oh, thank you. A really much. lovely part thank that you played you. as well. What thank was it like you. to film? It was a really intense process for me. I didn't think I've ever been pushed as hard as I was by Darren. Um, it was pretty grueling, but I think it made me a better actress, and I'm really excited for people to see the performance. Good for you. Thanks very much for talking to us. It was um, it was a really physically demanding shoot, this one, man. Um, you had the extra uh, aspect of rain falling on you so much, you know? Every second day, you knew that, you know, in the schedule of... 70 days or something, half of them were days where you were under rain. So it gets to the point where a single raindrop feels like, you know, you've been hit in the face by a football mate. It's like... I've also been talking to one of the most iconic sort of fashion figures out there at the moment, Pharrell Williams, and he came, of course, complete uh, with the iconic hat. It's hard to believe that I would ever be considered in such a prestigious um, um, publication that's just dedicated to just you know, taste and tone and, you know, being dandy. And when you're sort of back around, what sort of things do you like to get up to? Uh, well, um, I don't live that far from Hampstead Heath. I don't think it's that too far much of a secret. And so it's very nice to just experience some sort of woodland in the middle of the city.